A nurse is looked likely to strike after their union rejected the latest pay offer from district health boards. Up to 27,000 nurses and midwives voted overwhelmingly to reject the offer of 2% pay rises. Sorry, of two pay rises. Uh, of 2% for most nurses and midwives over two years, plus a one-off payment of $1,050 and a commitment to work on pay equity and safe staffing levels. The nurses' organisation says talks between the two sides are now at an impasse with a strike balance uh, likely in mid to late April, so somewhere in the region of three to four weeks away. Nurses say they're frustrated and running on empty after years of underfunding of the health sector. Hutt Valley nurse Freya Head says that underfunding simply needs to stop. We're a caring profession um, and that's why potentially why it has been so long since we have um, had a strike. Nurses don't like to strike, we don't like to leave our patients um, without the care that we provide. We provide skilled nursing care, um, it's not care that anyone could give, it's different from doctor's care, it's, um, you know, we're a skilled workforce and we don't like to leave our patients without that. But this is us just really trying to make a statement that um, this has gone on for too long and it's not sustainable. We, we can't keep going the way that we are. Yeah, and something needs to change. Hart Valley Nurse Freya Head, the nurses organisation industrial services manager C. Payne, explained to a press conference why nurses have given the pay offer the thumbs down. The issues that we're facing today for our members have arisen from a decade of severe underfunding of the health system along with an increasing community need for health care, an ageing population, an ageing workforce and rising costs in the health delivery of health care. Our members have been reporting to us over that decade increased workloads, increasing patient acuity, meaning our patients are sicker when they arrive at the hospital, stress, fatigue and lack of job satisfaction. This is contributing to high staff turnover and low staff morale. The immediate staffing crisis as a result of the past decade of underfunding has to be addressed. Our preference is to have the DHB Mecca bargaining settled. Industrial action will be the last resort if we cannot achieve that goal. In mid-April, NZNO will discuss the need for a ballot for industrial action with our nationally elected delegates and staff. And the nature of what industrial action might consist of will be decided at that point in time. C. Payne speaking at a media conference in Wellington earlier this afternoon.